This is the Greek Word of the Day with James Gregory. Hello and welcome to the Greek Word of the Day. Today we have Israel. Israel it means Israel. Now it's indeclinable. You'll never see it except for this particular spelling. It doesn't matter if you move it from the nominative to the accusative or the genitive to the dative, it will always be just like this. What will help is context and the presence of the definite article. Oh. Oh. Okay. So if the definite article immediately preceding Israel is genitive, then contextually you're probably dealing with a genitive Israel. Okay? Now, it is a loan word from Hebrew, uh, yis, Yisrael. Okay? Um, so, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a loan word, it's a cognate, it's, it's not necessarily a, a Greek word. Okay? What does it mean? Of course, it means Israel, right? This is the patriarch Jacob, so it could be a specific name, the name of Jacob after his name was changed, right? And then to that extent, it could mean the descendants of Israel, okay? Uh, it could be the nation of Israel. So that is the Judean and the Samaritan peoples, Israel, right? Remember, Israel was not just the southern portion of the land. It was all of the land, the northern and southern kingdoms. And then it later split up after, what, Solomon? And then once it split up, uh, you had the, uh, the king of Israel, but then you also had the king of Judah. Anyways, I digress. Uh. So the, the people or nation of Israel includes the 12 tribes, right? Judah's one of those. And then you've got all the others. And then, interestingly enough, BDAG says for the third gloss, quote, Christians are entitled to the term Israel. So... 1 Corinthians 10.18, Galatians 6.16, the true divine Israel. Uh, Romans 9.6, not all who are descended from Israel, Israel meaning Jacob in this case, or who belong to the Israelite nation, are really Israelites. So there's this idea of this true Israel, and that in Paul's argument is the church. Christians. And so there you have it. That's today's Greek word of the day. The interesting one. It's a third loan word that we've covered in three days. And uh, But you will see it in the New Testament, so you need to be able to recognize it, understand it. And that's it. So come back again tomorrow. We'll have another one for you then. Plus, tomorrow morning, we will be translating 3rd John. We probably won't get through the whole thing uh, because it is longer than 2 John, and 2 John took us two weeks. But we will be translating 3 John, and then before you know it, we'll have translated three books of the Bible. Three books. It's pretty cool. So we're getting to really use what we've learned in terms of vocabulary, syntax, grammar, uh, and we're working through it. Um, hopefully I won't need any help from like a commentary because I don't have any. As you could see, my library is a bit thin. I used to have a massive library, and then I kind of uh, had a falling out with academics and uh, sold my books. Sad. That's okay. I'm trying to go digital anyways. It's hard keeping up with hardbound books. Hard. Hardbound. Uh... Pun intended, I guess, maybe. I don't know, it doesn't really work. Anyways, 
So we'll see you tomorrow for the live stream and translating Third John. We'll also see you for the next Greek word of the day. Have a good day, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.